apart from the way the new accidentals arrive in each part, the choice of chords before the new key has a great deal of influence how the change will be received. To achieve the smoothest modulation, aim to produce at least a three chord progression in the new key, a predominant, a dominant, and then a tonic chord. This builds up momentum toward the new tonic. If possible, the predominant chord of the new key should be used as a pivot. That means if that chord is also available in the old key without alteration, it can serve as the turning point and then allow the three step progression mentioned above, predominant, dominant, and tonic, to establish the new key. If we look again at this example, we see that the chord preceding the 6-4 chord in G major is C major, which is both the tonic of the old key and the subdominant of the new key. In other words, a perfect pivot. This is usually indicated as follows. If there is no predominant chord in common between the two keys, it's still a good idea for aim or a predominant harmony, followed by dominant and tonic. If there are alterations necessary for the predominant chord to work in the new key, try using a 6 or a 3 chord in the new key as a pivot. Here, for example, is a modulation from C major to F major. Both 2 and 4 of F major contain a B flat, so we could do something like this. This modulation used a 2 chord of the old key as a pivot toward the new key, which becomes a 6 chord, followed by a standard 2 cadential 6 4 5 1. A slightly more intense kind of pivot modulation sometimes happens between phrases. Here's an example. Here the first phrase starts and ends in C major. The second phrase starts right away with a 5-4-2 chord in G major and then stays there. The fact that some people may hear this, at least as first, as a secondary dominant in C, shows the sense of ambiguity that modulation can create, at least temporarily. This comes from the fact that, unless the listener has memorized the piece in advance, it's impossible to know what will happen next. Music could continue in C major or in G major. Although we could say that the cadence chord of the first phrase acts as a pivot, the fact that there is a breath between the two phrases, a definite punctuation, weakens the smoothness of the progression. Note that the voice leading is still very conjunct.